that it wasn't about them, that it was about their customers, their employees, and their suppliers. And they let them be free. They freed their voice to go and talk about the one thing. They were rewarded with love. A couple of examples. So we were out there, we talked to a lot of people. I love this quote best. Uh, I was a CMO. And what she said to me was, you know, I said, well, how do you feel about the, the online interaction? She goes, well, being a control freak, quite frankly, it makes me a little nauseous. But you can't be afraid of it. That's the reality of living today. Uh, we interviewed a number of companies. Uh, one of the best stories was a specialty cleaning company. And uh, what they do is their product removes sticky, gooey messes. Right? And they would go and you know, sticky, gooey messes on everything. Everything from Harley Davidson motorcycles to grills. So they took the product and they went and they sent it out to their customers, bloggers. And they said, okay, let's go and see what happens. And it was amazing what happened. Um, the best story is the Harley story. They went and they sent it to the, uh, the blogger who had Harleys, and they went and they sent the Harley jacket. And they went and they drew its magic marker on the back of this, uh, this jacket. Um, the actual product can remove magic markers. So the first thing he did was, is he went and he went and created a video. And he says, you can't believe what these guys did. First of all, they sent me this jacket, and he goes and removes the magic marker. But he goes, look at what it does to your beautiful fenders on a Harley. So what did they do? They went, they trusted, and by trusting, they were rewarded with online customer love. Control over versus control with. All right, so here's the next thing, online co-creation. I'm gonna take some time with this. Um, so there's four parts to online co-creation. Online co-creation seek share, online co-creation help, online co-creation customer advocacy, and online co-creation personal interaction. So the first one, seek share. Well, what is it? Well, we've got, we're online and what are we doing? We're seeking information and we're sharing information. And this is directly with the company. Good example, McDonald's up in Canada. They decided they wanted to talk to their customers. So they opened up a book. So what happened? <laughs> one of the first things they go and they get. Hey, we hear that you guys ground up the hooves of the cow and they put it in the hammer. And McDonald's just said, no, we don't. We put all the appropriate parts of the cow. It was real. It was real. It worked. It came back. That's what your customers are. Just be real. Another story in that, uh, that experience. They said, hey, you know what? Your food looks a lot better on TV than it does in the store. And they said, hey, yeah, you're right, it does, okay? But instead of us going and talking about why it looks better, let me show you a video of how we go and compare our food to go and be on TV. We spend millions of dollars. We want it to look good. Well, by the way, it's the same food. That's secret <coughs> what you do as a company. Second one, online co-creation help. Now, this is where customers help customers. Customers help customers. A good example of this is on Amazon. If you buy a product and you want to ask a question, they then go and refer you to 50 other customers that have gone and used that product. Now, what's the benefit of that, and why are they doing that? Well, what we found was, when the company talks, it resonates at about a 42% believability rate. When another customer talks, or an expert talks, it resonates at about a 92%. 42 versus 92. That's online co-creation help. So the third one. Online co-creation customer advocacy. Now, the way we went and discovered how effective or ineffective this was, was, in, in the thing I said, it's the basic question. Would you recommend us to a family member or a friend? Now, in some marketing circles, this is said to be the golden question. All you need to do is understand this question, and you will win in the marketplace. We didn't find that in the online conversation, right, or in your online interactions. In fact, co-creation help, co-creation seek share, and customer advocacy all had about the same effect in your overall brand. A little bit different than in what we're seeing in the basic world of what we're doing today. So, 
Let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is online co-creation personal interaction. And this was interesting. And what that is, okay, is it's being polite, courteous, kind. All good things, right? We found that this actually has a negative effect on the positive expression of your customers towards you as a company. It doesn't make any sense. And that's what we thought. So we had to go back out and talk to a bunch of people. I mean, you go into a Starbucks. They're polite. They say thank you. They smile at you. They lock eyes. And wow, that's a good experience. But in the online environment, think about it. If you're doing that, what you do is you feel it's kind of flat. <laughs> it's rope. Whatever it's doing, it, feels, it appears fake. And the biggest thing you've got to go and do is you've got to be real when you're in the online environment. So when you want online customer love, what we went and did is you went and you see that you have online co-creation. And then, so the more online co-creation you have, combined with the more you go and control with, let your customers be free, let your employees be free to express themselves, let your suppliers be free to go and talk about you online, the more customer love you get, right? And that explains so much. So I went out to the West Coast, and I was actually, we did some research with a billion dollar company out there, and I showed this to the president. He goes, oh, this is really good. He goes, what's that little thing in the middle you got there? Well, connection. I said, well, that's connection. That's, you know, that's what connecting. He goes, no, 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 what do you mean, connection? What is it, clacking rocks down by the river? Wait a minute, so the West Coast is that little, this with my customer, you know, what, what exactly is that? So we said, ah, I guess we got some more work to do. So what we did was we went back out and we took a look at a couple different things. We looked at empathy, identity, authenticity, um, and we looked at play. And what we found was, when you go and you're co-creating with your customers and you add play, which play is defined as being open, flexible, creative, imaginative, spontaneous, and playful. If you do those things, you double. Double. The online customer love expressed by your customers. So, the question is, what does play look like? I'm going to take to be a 30 second run through a couple different slides that we thought were effective and showed you what it was to be playful. So it's all about the love, baby, right? <laughs> you want to win in the 21st century? Keep it real with your customers. Co-create. Be playful. Give them control. If you give your customers control, if you give your employees control, if you give your suppliers control, they'll build your business. Thanks so much.